My name is Tom with Weapons Education, and this is going to be a fun video. And the topic is, are dogs good for personal home defense? Of course, we know the answer is yes. Whether it's a big dog that can rip someone's head off, or, or a small little dog that can alarm you. And I have to introduce my beautiful, lovely daughter. Hello, Sophia. Hello. Hello. So you're going to help me with the video, right? Yep. You're nine years old now. Yeah, last time you were on the channel, you were five. Probably. <laughs> you were. Okay, so this is Coco. This is our first dog we got, right? Yeah. And um, it seems like with the family, with the four of us, you get your sister and mommy, daddy, the four of us. Um, it seems like each of us like picked one dog out. Doesn't it kind of seem that way? Yeah. Well, like all three dogs are like your dog. And then Coco seems to be like my dog, right? Because she sleeps next to my head. But what happens when... Um, when the, when the mailman comes, and how far away is the mailbox? Probably like 100 yards. <laughs> it's far away, right? Now, from a dead sleep, can Coco start barking? Yes. <laughs> it's amazing, right? Uh, crazy. So, so the point is, and throw your comments in, guys. This is a fun video about dogs and our lo beloved animals, and how they can alarm you in case of an intruder. Um, we do have to point out all the work that goes into getting a pet. So, of course, you know, Sophia, right? How much work Daddy does and Mommy does and yeah, you do and Jessica does. All the work we do from grooming, the expenses of the veterinary care, the expenses of the food, the walking, picking up after them, True. right? There's a lot of work, right? It's a big responsibility. Yeah. So don't get a dog unless you're ready to take on the expenses, the care. It's like taking care of a human. I really want to impress that upon you. But if you've got that... The finances to do it, and you got a 15-year, 16-year commitment to take on a pet, a dog. Then I say, heck yeah! Think of that. Your life might change. Also, you might move, and then that place might not allow dogs. You might have a job change. Think of everything far out when you get a pet. Okay. With that said, though, they're excellent. They're excellent animals to be your best friend. As a matter of fact, I kind of wish that uh, that some humans were as friendly as our dogs towards us, right? Yeah. It's true, right? Okay, now what we're going to do is look at a different dog that we have in the family, and I want you to throw your comments in about your pet and how your pet helps you and what obligations you do with your pet to, to keep it healthy and happy and how much love your dog gives you. So um, let's put another pet here on the, on the table, and we'll, we're going to get it up to four here in a moment. <laughs> let's see that right now. Okay, so here is White Pomeranian number two. First we got Coco, and you guys named Coco, right? Yeah. Remember, I remember way back when you were baby, she's five, and uh, I, I did a video, I said, we can't come up with a name, and someone said Coco, and I said, that's the name. And I gave a prize away for that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got, the, Mommy goes, well, let's get a second White Pomeranian. Well, what are we going to call her? And uh, Daddy came up with, well, Coco, and then Chanel, because that's like a... a Oh, Mommy came up with Chanel, I guess. She's yeah. going to argue with me who came up with the name. And by the way, I came up with your name, Sophia. Even though Mommy says I came up with your name. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Those are the type of things families do. Who came up with the name? This is, this is Chanel. And she's a white palm. And what happens when Amazon delivers something to the front door? What does is, what is your little chanel -y belly do? What does she do? This little four-pound dog when you're asleep. 70 feet away in a different part of the house. What does she do? Usually she parks crazy because um, when the bell rings, they just go crazy. And <laughs> Or if the truck pulls up, the sound of the truck, yeah. right? The UPS truck, right? It's a, it's a great thing when they alarm you. So you got that gun next to your bedside there. You can, there's a bad guy coming in the middle of the night. These dogs have senses that are like way beyond what humans have. And it just, it just amazes me. Like I said earlier in the video, I wish humans were as kind and nice to each other as, as the pets are to us. So now, let's bring um, our third pet, okay? Okay, Sophia? Mm -hmm. Let's do that right now. And okay, so then we decided to get another pet. Our daughter, our daughter uh, Jessica, and your sister, she goes, I want what's called, this is not a miniature lassie. This is uh, a nickname for these dogs are Shelties, right, Sophia? Yep. Uh, the real name is a Shetland Sheepdog, and this dog is one smart dog. That's true. Uh, i got to admit, of all the dogs we have, this dog is by far the smartest. His name is Bentley. 
So we kind of nicknamed him Mr. Bentley because he's, he's, he's a boy. He's the only boy we have in the family. We're going to show another boy dog here in a minute, my friend's dog. But he is, and sit, sit up here, Mr. Bentley. He is just so respectful and so nice. Now, what happens if in the middle of the night you hear some noise in the backyard way back out a half mile away? What happens? What does he do? He usually barks like the, lou the loudest one in whole entire family. He's usually the one that would bark like crazy. So he's usually our protector. If there's someone outside trying to get in, right. he would bark. Yeah, it's not just the mailman or something normal. He'll know if it's something out of the ordinary. Yeah. You know, sometimes it could be a raccoon, yeah, right? They wouldn't stop or barking. a fox, right? Or a possum, an animal, correct? Yeah. He'll go crazy, right? So, and he's just a beautiful dog. If you want a really good family dog, the Shetland Sheepdog is really, really, I highly recommend the Shetland Sheepdog. And um, they're always ranked in the top five of smart dogs. And my other daughter, Jessica, she goes, I want a, I want a Shetland Sheepdog. I'm like, what's that? She goes, look, look, they're really smart. And she showed me online. And then I found the breeder. And uh, go to the airport and you pick up your little puppy. <laughs> and here we got, now this is our family of dogs. Now I'm going to show you, I think, uh, something pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very big. Very big. Very, well, very big. Well, small but big and fluffy. Small, big and fluffy. I small, think so too. I think that counts. Is it a stuffed animal or is it a real dog? It looks like a stuffed animal, but I'm pretty sure it's a dog. <laughs> okay, let's have some fun. Guys, throw in your comments about your pets. So we got a cat, too, named Snow Meow. Yep. We're cat lovers, too. Okay? I don't think a cat would uh, kind of just hang out here too easily. <laughs> but uh, let's bring our, the next dog. And um, he's my friend's dog. And when we got him, he goes, what do I name him? What do I name him? What do I name him? And here we go to find over who named the dog. Uh, my, my buddy John named the dog. And he named him Kimber. And here is Kimber. Yeah! That's not, not going to be in the video, but still, yeah! Okay, here's Kimber. Now, Kimber could be a male or female name. My buddy named his dog Kimber. And this is a big male white Pomeranian. He liked our two white palms. And this dog, oh boy. I think, well, he's a national champion. This dog is huge, full of fur. And he's just so smart. And you take this dog for a walk, people go like, whoop, they, they, they must get whiplash when they're, they're driving their car. Like, what the heck is that? You pull a stuffed animal around, you just can't fathom how big he is around. Come on, you big boy, you're so sweet, right? You want to try to pick him up? Oh, sure. sure. Well, he's, he's, heavy. Heavy. Yeah. he's heavy. He's heavy. He's heavy. Oh, oh. See how loving our dogs are? Yeah, I did it. I got all four dogs on the table at once. That was the goal. Sit down, Mr. Kemper. Look at this boy. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, and they're sitting there. Now that's a snapshot, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, Kemper, yeah, he's he's the boy. And I tell you, the maintenance of the fur on, on these long hairs is a lot of work. Think of that. A lot, a lot of work. And uh, if you have a groomer do it, it's pricey. And then you're not sure, you know, if they're going to do a good job. So um, I choose to do most of them myself. And it's a lot of work. Cleaning the ears out and all that. And taking care of them. Look, look at this. Tell me about your dogs. Tell me about if you think they're good for home protection. You guys, I've, I've been a, a chow guy my whole life. I've had six chows. <laughs> and uh, and after, after children, I said, all right, let's, uh, let's go with the smaller breed. Yeah. And I had the, uh, the, the big monster dogs, chow dogs, and yeah, once two of them didn't get along with each other, and they fought. I said, all right, okay, next round of dogs, we'll get along like this. This is nice. <laughs> I turned Mr. Kimber around, let's say goodbye. And this is just a fun, loving video to let you know a little bit about my life. And also, Mainly, uh, the dogs can be good for personal self-defense, but you got to take care of them, and it's a long obligation, 15 years or so, okay? Let's hope 15 years, right? Yep. All right, well, thank you. My name is Tom. My daughter is Sophia, nine years old. You're yep. doing great, baby. Okay, thumbs up, and bye-bye.